Well, hello. Today I'd like to give you my first impressions of the Parker Jotter. And no, this wasn't the video I planned on releasing today, but uh, files get misplaced. So we'll go with the Parker Jotter. So let's dive into it. All right, so this is the Parker Jotter and it's blister pack, very retro looking packaging. I'm just curious on the back. So we've got that it's Newell of Europe and I could be blind but I'm not seeing a date and it doesn't really matter so let's open up the blister pack well that was easy so we get a black and a blue cartridge so that you can find out which one you prefer I wonder which one I'm going to pick for this first impression uh, so we look at the pen more closely here as it comes out. So I picked the orange finish. I just wanted it. We have uh, nothing really on the finial. A little bit of a sharp step here. Nothing on that finial. And it snaps to cap and it snaps you know, with a quite satisfying snap. A little bit of roughness here. Uh, as far as holding it, it's it's comfortable. That sharp step doesn't seem to bother me. Take a closer look at Mr. Nib. Mr. Autofocus doesn't like Mr. Nib. So it looks like this is a medium. And open it up. And nothing. Um... Now, what I have here is an older style, so let's replace this with a pen holder that holds both. So I have the new one I'll put on top and the older one here on the bottom. The old one I found for sale in Bismarck, I just stopped at a, well, store that's no longer there, Staples, and uh, saw it on the rack. I thought, hmm, huh, I've heard of Parker Jotter ballpoint, I've never seen the fountain pen, so I picked it up, the stainless steel one. The stainless steel one apparently was new old stock. A little bit more of a finial. A little bit more of a finial. Open it up. Got a nib. I'll hold the two side by side. I think this is more rounded here, but it's also metal, so not quite like versus like. I supplied the converter. So new on top, old at the bottom. So yeah, the sections are quite different. The nibs are quite different. They are both mediums. So I'll put a link to the video of the old one down in the video description. One other thing just worth noting real quick while we're here is that Parker has redesigned the clip to kind of go with their more modern, streamlined style. All right, so let's ink this puppy up. And of course, this being the Wasky Squirrel Pen Channel, I'm going with the blue cartridge. There we go. Didn't exactly snap in, but it went in. <sighs> Let's see if we can get this thing right. Oh, and it's already flowing. Good, good sign. I know Parker isn't the most popular brand. You know, people always say, well, it's best days are behind it. But I think they do make a quality product nonetheless. So we have a medium Parker Jotter. The ink, of course, is Parker Quink. I actually don't know if it's washable blue or not. So we'll just call it blue. Um, as far as flex, this is so not a flex nib. But I think I'm getting some line variation out of it. As far as wetness and flow, I 
I think it does a pretty good job keeping up there. Smear test. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that this one will be on the wet side. Okay, not as wet as I expected, but not horrible. Uh, reverse writing, that's always a mystery. A very surprisingly smooth, probably extra fine. And finally, the world famous Peer Gustafson test. I had a small fail here, but I think that was me rotating the pen. So on the whole, I think it did well keeping up. I am pleasantly surprised with this. It doesn't have the quality feel of the metal one, but how much of that is the fact that it's not metal, and I'm not sure. So we'll take some time, get to know it, and then in my editorial comments on either side, we'll fill you in on my experience. So that was the Parker Jotter. Uh, I showed you the new version. I showed you the let's call it new old stock version. And uh, I, I'm going to give you a little anecdote. So uh, last night I'm sitting over there on the couch and uh, I've been looking for this Parker Jotter for a few weeks because <laughs> I lost it. And, you know, how do you lose it in such a small house? Well, I happened to reach down between the uh, cushion on the couch and the uh, edge of the couch and found it. Now, I have pulled that cushion off several times I vacuumed the whole flipping couch, so I don't know exactly how this was hiding during that time, but it was. And again, I don't recall exactly how many weeks, but several, more than one, just been sitting there. So I uncapped it and started up like a champ writing. So even after sitting for multiple weeks, this fairly low cost pen works. And that's a good sign to me. Uh, as for the writing, you know, not exciting, it just serviceable and reliable is, is how I would characterize it. Uh, I've liked it. You know, it's a little bit slim, but not too bad. Um, I complained about the step on the uh, original Parker Jotter. Yes, this has a step. Uh, and if you really at it, you, you can feel it. But really, it's not a problem when you hold it and operate it normally. This is just a really comfortable pen. Uh, and I kind of like the orange. Aren't you glad I bought it? <laughs> so uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very satisfied with this pen. This is the kind of pen that you, you want to get somebody interested in a fountain pen. You say, there you go. It's uh, reliable enough. It's comfortable enough. But they're not going to get scared off by some of the quirks of uh, some of our more exotic pens. So uh, all in all, very happy with it. Now, just on a side note... I always do a pocket test, but this shirt doesn't have a pocket. It does have a t-shirt under it. Okay, this, this is tight. There we go. So a bit tight, but it does go over it. And it doesn't catch on the way off, which some Parkers tend to do because the little arrow clip, finial, or I'm sorry, the arrow clip. But this one handles it right. Just a little tight. I can live with tight. So... Anyway, uh, I'm glad I bought it. I'm glad I looked at their newer version. And uh, again, one more offering in uh, that you bought me in my voyage to try out some lower cost pens using one of the uh, advertising checks from YouTube. Uh, the, I'm going to take a break because, uh, well, I've got a Geha video that was supposed to be tonight that uh, i got to refilm. Because somebody mislaid the video, just has the audio. Uh, but anyway, we're going to uh, take a look at some Schaefer pens next. Uh, lower cost pens. So, just all in all, pretty thrilled with this pen. So, well, thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.